Hey everybody, so you've replaced your Bowden tube or your Teflon tube or your TEFE tube in your 3D printer and you're sitting here going I got this spool I got this spool what do I do with it? Well, the trick is if you want to conserve and can join your spools you can actually merge them together into one. I'll show you how to do it. So if you got leftover clips, just simply put it on the side of this, so that it's semi-stationary. One of the tricks for that, you cut it on an angle, 45 degree angle here and here, and we'll get to the magic in a second. And you only need a lighter, too. So you want to cut it at least a 45 degree angle. And I'm a firm believer of recycling your scraps because one day down the road you quite possibly can and most likely recycle them. At least that's the theory. So you cut two ends at 45 degree angles. So basically as if you're going to be using the extruder and uh, any prints that you may do. Just don't do what I do. Never do what Spanky does. Never do what Spanky does. What you want to do is put it through one end of the Teflon tube. It's quite simple. It'll probably take you 10 tries. And just like that, it's welded together. They're flammable. Oops. After a few minutes off camera, that is the end result. Now, you could get a 3D file to print your self emerge uh, fuse, PETG, uh, PLA fuser, if you wanted to, which it has successfully fused. It is a little trial and error, I will say that, and it is a learning curve in trying to find the sweet spot to be able to merge it correctly. But once you do, that short piece of PLA will become a long piece and more on then. Spanky out.